Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little different. It's a little different. Um, not necessarily quilting, but um, I went thrifting. Now this is not one day of thrifting, it's several days of thrifting. And some of these things I have been collecting for a long time. Um, when I can find the pieces that match what I have. And also some things that I do or I'm going to be using in my film setup. And I'm going to um, show you how my film setup is, which is very rudimentary, very just things I have found. I'm going to take you off here. Let me see if I can flip. There's my old camera mount, which, like I said, I paid and I got a dust. I'm getting ready to clean this whole desk. Um, found this in a bin store. It's worked for what I needed it for. Um, this is the new one that I got on TikTok shop. Absolutely love this one. These are $1 lamps, and I have another one floating around here somewhere, one or two, from Dollar Tree. And they're touch, so you can adjust the light. Then I have three ring lights, um, all of which I think were thrifted, actually. This one, the double, this one, and this one are connected. As you can see, and it's a double, and there is a phone connector there. I can't put my phone on it, but I don't use it. Um, bin store, $7. This one, I got it at a thrift store. I don't remember. Um, it falls over all the time. This ring doesn't want to stay up. It's not, like, if I, if I touch it, it just wants to fall over, mainly because of the way I've got it leaning over. So I'm getting ready to hopefully replace that. Um, here's my um, ironing mat. A lot of people have fussed at me. You can't be ironing on wood. This table is my crafting table. That's what I bought it for. Again, it was thrifted. It has paint all over it from where I painted on it. Um, I paid $15 for this desk. So this is fine. Trust me, it is fine. It's not hurting anything at all. My little bitty baby iron, thrifted, paid three or five dollars for i can't remember but you're getting ready to see all the rest of this stuff i'm going to show you this shelf that i use right here that's got like all of the things that i reach for the most thrifted and i do need to try to mount this on the wall and get it from behind my machine because when i'm sewing all this stuff is in the way this was thrifted um back I'll put you back on the yeah so um a lot of the stuff in my house is thrifted um and i just rather thrift than pay full price for something <laughs> i mean i would i would just rather try to find something at a better price than pay like a lot of money for it so i'm going to show you some stuff i thrifted today one it's decor for my house i'm getting ready to try to change my hat not change because it's not really decorated in any particular style um, to more of like cottagey, farmhousey kind of vibe. Um, and then there's a few things I bought to use in here. So that's why that's going to fit into this. Um, and there's some textiles too. So I know my ladies that crochet, uh, embroider, cross stitch. Um, there is a couple things and I'm going to show this first. One of which is this tablecloth, which I paid $2 for. And it is a beautiful tablecloth. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't want to unfold the whole thing. But the center medallion is done, the center, and then the corners. All hand cross stitched. What? Two dollars, people. Two dollars. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Two dollars. Goodwill. Okay. Um, I saw that hanging and I was like, oh, it's going home with me for two dollars. Even if you cut it and made pillows or you made something else out of it, just for the fabric alone, if you were just looking for something that like had this on it that you could cut, two dollars. <laughs> Not even playing. Oh, I got some from Amazon. Um, I can't really. Sh ah, I'll show it to you. Because <laughs> one, one's going to you. Um, I still do have the um, 
the giveaway is open, still open for about another, what, nine days? And I haven't even opened this yet. It's been sitting here. I'm going to just throw that on the floor because we're getting ready to sweep this up. So I ordered bobbin, bobbin cases because um, I'm going to start using other colors than just white. And all I have to store my bobbins is the little tray that's in my sewing machine, which only holds, what, four or five? Five. So I usually keep that full of white. There is one yellow in there. So I wanted some bobbin storage, storage. And I did get these on Amazon. Crinkle plastic, I swear. Um, again, I'm just going to throw that in the floor. I'll pick it up. These were $5 for two. $5 is some change. So I'm giving one to you and I'm keeping one. So that will be in the giveaway. Um, I'll leave that video linked up above. It'll also be linked down below. So you can click on any of those links. It'll take you to the giveaway video. Just fire the instructions. But this one is mine. Because I actually have colored bobbin and thread going right now. So I am quilting on my machine this quilt back here. I started hand quilting it and the way my hand has been doing, I, I just can't. Um, so I threw that out the window. It does have some hand quilting on it. I'm not going to take it out. Like right here you can see the machine quilting. And then right in here, I don't know if you guys can see it because it's white on white, there is hand quilting. Um, and I'm going to leave it. I'm just going around the inside of these sections. I'm just going around the inside of the sections. Um, and so far it's going really good. I'm using a, a variegated thread um, that I bought for this quilt. But I've had this quilt since last year. This is the one I made last year when I had COVID. So it is, there is some mistakes. There was mistakes made, but I was sick with COVID. <laughs> you can probably see it better here. Cause like I went around inside this block, went around inside this block, went around like this block. And I'm just gonna went around this block. Just keep doing that. Um, till I get the whole quilt done. So I got quite a bit done the other day. And it's not perfect, but um, it, it's gonna be my quilt since time. It's another one for me. <laughs> All right, so next up, I found a table runner, and this one's not handmade. It is it is mass produced, but it's still pretty, and it's for Christmas. And it was these beautiful, beautiful Christmas bells. I don't know if you guys can see that it's a bell in like holly. So pretty. This is it's halved, but it's a table runner. I got it for, they take the tags off at Yoke Fella. It was a dollar. So that's why I said, even if you like cut that, make a pillow or make something else, you just need it for the fabric. A dollar. Okay. That one was at Yoke Fellow. I have a bag down here too, guys. Um, next up is some plates. Um, I adore china. I adore crystal. I love pottery, I, uh, ceramics, anything like that. I love. Um, especially if it's old and vintage. <laughs> so I have been collecting um, transferware for a little bit. I've always wanted it, but I haven't really started collecting it. I have a whole collection of like mi mix match china that I do have in my kitchen that I do eat off of. I have a set of antique china that a friend of mine gave me and it is in a case in my dining room. And then I have a whole set of um vintage not antique but vintage it was probably made in the 50s and i'm getting ready to show you some of the pieces um china that i've been collecting pieces over the years as i find it and then i have started collecting these and these are going to go on the wall um and so that was my plan that these were going to do like a plate wall and these are all transfer wear. So this one, oh my gosh, it's purple, guys. With these beautiful flowers, it's purple. Um, this is Copeland Spode England Mayflower. If anybody is interested in this pattern, that's what it is. Um, a lot of these I will go on replacements.com just to see what um, they cost to buy another one. <laughs> So that one, it does have a small chip on the back. Like I said, it's going to be on the wall as decor. You're not going to see the chip on the the chip on the back. You're not going to see it. 
Oh my God, Johnson Brothers. Okay, this one is a Johnson's Brothers. This is a newer one. Um, Old Britain Castles made in England um, since 1929. You can tell by the back stamp, this is a newer plate by this back stamp. But still, um, this is one of their best-selling patterns. It has been around for ages. I would love to have a whole set of this to eat off of. Oh, so pretty. So that one's pink. This one, absolutely beautiful. Castle on the Lake, Johnson's Brothers, England. You can tell this is an older plate by the back stamp. I mean, if you look at the back, it'll tell you a lot. Turn it up. So this one's brown with some color. Back there's the castle. Did any of y'all do antiquing or thrifting? Because all these were like a dollar a plate. I mean, they were a dollar a plate. This one has a lot of crazing and a little bit of staining. It is Shakespeare Country Royal Essex Ironstone. That's what it, and this one's an older one too. This one has a lot of crazing. And if you don't know what crazing is, it's where it gets that crackly look through it. That's beautiful too. Oh. So I do have, like I said, I have a whole collection of just teacups, a few teapots. Um, this is another one. This one is Locks of Scotland, Loch Ditch, Royal Warwick, England. Ah, uh, this one has a ship on it. So pretty. I mean, just all these blues are so pretty. This one has a lot of crazing on it as well. This one is a Swin, Swinnerton's. Staffordshire, England, Silverdale. But can you see a wall? Just a wall arranged of all these plates? Oh, I can't wait. I think this is another Johnson. Is this one of Johnson Brothers? This one's interesting because they like double stamped the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. See where it has like a shadow? They double stamped the back. And it is Liberty Blue. I think is what it says. Original copper engravings of historic colonial scenes printed on Staffordshire ironstone. Something, something, something. I don't know. I think it's Independence Hall. It might be Independence Hall. If where they double stamped it, it's kind of smeared. Mm, I cannot wait. I, I won't. Uh. And then this is the last one in the blues. Countryside. This one's Wedgwood. Um, Enoch Wedgwood made in England 1061. I don't know if that's like 10th month of 61. I don't know. I don't know how to read that. But um, this one is another the castle. Another castle and a bridge. So I've been collecting these plates for a little bit. Not a long time. But just whenever I catch them and I see them and I'm like a dollar. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, a couple shirts. I don't think I have. So I grabbed two shirts. This one is New Directions, which is from Belks. But look how pretty this is. I love flowy, lightweight stuff. Super cute. Goodwill, $4.99. No, I got these at Yoke Fellow, so they were $3. $3. These were Yoke Fellow. This one's Old Navy. Look how cute for going into fall. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. Lay those back there. This is for my channel, I'm hoping. Show that to you guys. If I can get into my other goodies here. Let me see what this one is. Well, it's a basket. I just liked this basket. So you could hang it. I think this was $3. Two or three dollars, two dollars, two dollars. It was two dollars. It's a cute little basket, okay. And then, like I said, I, I love pottery. Not just fine china, but I love pottery. So I got this. To me, it's almost like a pitcher, but it doesn't have a spout. It's a giant mug, and you know I love my mugs. You know I love my mugs. So um, this was a dollar. It says, oh, Gussie. So it's, this is not like, this is more a mass-produced item. But I love my mugs. Okay. 
through that one. There's, there's more. Um, this is the pattern I have been collecting for a while, and I have. Um, I need to go. I need to go look. The wrapping paper. I feel. I feel a strap. A strap falling. Sorry. Um, it is called Royal Swirl, and it started with two plates. And I really loved the pattern and started collecting it. So whenever I was thrifting, if I found a piece, I would buy it. Um, these are all found at Goodwill. Somebody had the entire set. And I'm sorry that I broke up the set at Goodwill, but I needed it for my set. <laughs> so it's called Royal Swirl. And $3 for the gravy boats. And this is the pattern. Oh my goodness gracious, how pretty. And it does have like a silver platinum edge. So no, these are not microwave safe, but I don't put them in the microwave anyway. I have, I think, five or six plates. I have big bowls. I have the teacups and saucers. I have several teacups and saucers in this pattern. I have the coffee pot. I have the sugar and creamer. I have the soup tureen, which I bought a while back at the thrift store. I did, I couldn't remember if I have like the salad plates. So I grabbed these salad plates and there's one, two, there's, there's five for two fifty. So there is the salad plates. Like, oh my gosh, they had the whole thing. And here is the small platter for the gravy boats. Three dollars. They should have priced these together. They should have just said five dollars for that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and then the last thing is the big platter, and it was three dollars. Um, so this this is beautiful china. Um, we do eat off of this, and um, I'm gonna be switching out my cabinets here. I cleaned out my kitchen cabinets a while back. And was rearranging things, and I need to make room for this china because I want to like use it, use it. We don't use it, use it. We use the plates, but I don't use anything else. Um, I want to use it, use it. <laughs> All right, so the other things I got, which actually does go for the channel. So if you're ever thinking about starting YouTube and you're like, I can't afford it, you know, things are too expensive, I started out with one ring light, which finally buzzed out on me, and I think I paid about $25, $30 for it on Amazon years ago when I was doing my beauty channel. And I still have the tripod and the, the, um, the light, but it's the light is kaput. So I have the tripod off of it. And I think I actually was using the tripod in here. Um, I think the double light is on that tripod. That's what I did. That double light I showed you, I think I put it on that tripod. Then when that tripod went out, I bought this umbrella lot back here, and it works. Um, I use it for my beauty ch uh, beauty channel when I post on there, and I have a small ring light on my desk. Um, so I have another little ring light, and then this light I just take right around this corner and set it in the bedroom, and it's plugged in. So um, I found, and I needed this because... Everything is plugged into a drop cord down there, and it's getting kind of, and I wanted a um, surge protector with more plug-ins and SUVs, and I also got this one, and both of these were at Goodwill, so thrifted. These were dollar each. I can now take everything off of that extension that's all plugged in, jacked up, and make it a little more safe and organized, so have those and then I found is that everything okay I found this if I can get my hands on it brand new still in a box brand new still in a box um I didn't take everything out but it says LED studio streaming light tripod stand and color filters five dollars 
and I, have, I opened it up and I had this paper and I was like, oh, oh, if, if that's what it is, it would be perfect for in here. So I think this is what it is and it looks like it has never, ever, ever been opened. So I might have me a new light and I can get rid of this one that keeps falling over. <laughs> so let's see what I've got. So if you're thinking of starting a channel, guys, be on the lookout for equipment you can use um, at thrift stores. Okay, there's the, there's the light. Here's the filters, which I probably won't use. What? There's another light. What? Uh, what? Did I get two? It's two! What? It's like a kid in a candy store. What? Holy cow! <laughs> yeah, I'm just throwing in for it. Alright, what are these little things? I'm gonna need these little things apparently. one of these because I'm only seeing one of these but you know what it'd be okay because I only thought I had one to start with um, what I thought it was just one it's a set look how far up this thing's gonna telescope 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 Oh, I'm excited now. I, I'm excited now. I guess it would help if I actually use the directions, maybe. And then, oh, there's the other one. I got two! Holy crap! Light upgrade, light upgrade. Don't get your threads crossed up. There we go. And then this. What is this? Holy crap! I didn't know it was two. So I will be redoing my lighting system in here and hopefully this will make a difference. I mean, not that the lighting is terrible with those ring lights, but it's like a whole lot of light from this one side. And um, see, my only thing is I wish these cords, how is there... SUB cords, which is why I'm glad I grabbed that other. Um, holes. I don't know if I can get this picked up. No. Oh, see, there went there went my lights because I pulled on them. Let me see. I'm gonna unplug everything. Lord, children. See what a difference that light makes? Here is the extension surge protector. I'm like, what? There's two? Okay, I don't know what cords went to what now. Oh crap, I need a different, um, I need a different. All right. I'm going to be back in just a minute.
Okay, I'm trying to work out the plug-in system. Um, apparently, this really old house, the plug behind my desk, it's been a long time since I plugged anything up back there, is not a three-way plug. It doesn't have the prong on it. But um, this is just one light. Just one. This is not the ring lights. I have all those lights turned off. Um, that's awesome. Um, trying to see here. I don't think I could get my other one plugged in like that anyway. So I'm going to have to fiddle with these plugs. And I'm probably going to get rid of that one ring light like I was talking about. And I might move it over here at the cutting table. Um, I don't even remember what plug this goes to. That might be my lamp. Yeah, that's my touch lamp. Okay. <laughs> and these three cords. Oh, mercy. We're plugged into this guy. See, this one has four. Okay. I'm going to take this guy out for a minute. And grab these two. Just see them with the light. Oh, with this one. See, and I might can um, sit it behind the desk. Like I have that one. Just tightening them up. I think I'm going the wrong direction. There we go. And, and I have another one for five dollars. I'd have to run this cord different though to get it back behind my desk, I think. Oh, I'll have to pull my desk out. And um, run it through. But what? What? Guys. I did not know it was two. Let's see other filters. So I'm going to be lit. Lit. But yeah. Um, so that. That. Um, extension cord. Um, did not work because the plug behind is not a three-pronged plug. It's an old-timey two-way plug, so it's not going to work. Dang it. i got to clean all this mess up now. But I am tickled to death with the lights. I have got to um, pull my desk back out now and see if I can slide it back in behind there. And then I have one more I can play with, and I might can sit it over here. But Yeah. Let me know down below if you guys go thrifting and in gems that you find because that that was a really good find today. All right, guys, that is it. Just wanted to share with you how you know, like my thrifting. Um, almost all of my clothes are thrifted. The shirt you see that I'm wearing is thrifted. Um, I have two dresses, beautiful dresses hanging back there on the closet door that are I just thrifted. Um, that's how I save money to buy fabric. <laughs> is i thrift all my clothes but that's it guys uh, let me know do you guys thrift antique go junking um because i do and you can find some really good bargains as always thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one